can't. I can't either, baby. Excuse me, are these seats taken? You see, this theater is damn near empty. Why would you? <laughs> Frankie! Nisi, girl, it's been a while. I haven't seen you since your older brother dared you to eat that pound of butter for a hundred bucks. And look at this skin. I haven't had to use lotion since. <laughs> but I've chilled out a lot since then. Yeah, right. This coming from a guy who pretended to have a twin just so he can date the Wormley sisters at the same time. But I could have got away with it, too, if they didn't want a double date. Oh. <laughs> well, hey, my brother told me about you and Robert getting divorced. Yeah, it's OK. We're better off as friends. But what's been going on with you? I'm been saved. From what? I've been saved, saved. I found Jesus. What, in the club? <laughs> oh. Great, good for you. And Jesus. This is my son, Bobby. And this is my son, Ezekiel. SpongeBob's biggest fan. No, I'm SpongeBob's biggest fan. Maybe we both are. Want some Skittles? You're cool. Sit next to me. Wow. So, uh, saved, huh? Yeah. Married, too. Mm. How are you doing? Are you still going to church? Oh, me and God are cool. <laughs> but I haven't had much time for church since Bobby was a toddler. I mean, I just started my own catering company. I broke off an engagement. My life's pretty crazy now. <laughs> You should go to church with me this Sunday. God has changed my life. <laughs> Thanks for the offer, Frankie, but I have plans this Sunday. And I'm not as stressed out as I sound. Shh! Is something wrong with your lips? <laughs> so, Sunday? <laughs> Who is this brother with his daddy suit on? Dirty dirt, man. I'm glad you came through. Oh, thanks, man. Hey, this is my wife, Janelle. Hi, nice to meet you. Man, this is a trip. <laughs> Back in the day, the only time I ever saw you in church is when you was messing with that freak in the confessional. Remember that? Whatever happened to her? I married her. Rhonda leaves the choir now. Damn. Lift every voice and sing. <laughs> And I'd like to open the floor to anyone who wants to give a testimony on how God has changed their life. Brother Bethel, please come forward. Amen. 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 Anyone who knew me before I got saved could tell you that I was a sinner. I did a lot of things I'm not proud of, but then I found Jesus. And this is a blessing because in Romans 6 and 23, it plainly says, the wages of sin is death. There isn't a good ending for those who don't follow the righteous path. Now, everyone is going to live forever. I'm just trying to make sure you get the right address. And if you don't start acting right and praying for forgiveness, you can plan to face your just reward in the fiery pits of hell. Robert James, my man. <laughs> oh, what's up, Frankie? Last time I saw you, you were shaving a <laughs> runway in my jerry curl. <laughs> hey, Frankie, this is Tia. Hey, how you doing? I've heard a lot about you. You know, I used to be a bit of a party girl myself. <laughs> During quiet hour in my dorm room, I used to, um, play Miami sound machine really loud, you know? <laughs> hey, Frankie. Oh, we have to talk to you about something you said in your testimonial last Sunday. Yeah, and when you came down with the fire and the brimstone, <laughs> uh, you know, Bobby took a little bit too much out of it, and now he's afraid of God. Bobby. I was talking about adults who lost their way. I didn't mean you guys. Like I tell my son Ezekiel, God loves all children, and he would never punish you like that. Really? Are you 
you sure? Just love God like he already loves you. Cool? Cool. Cool. Now I can get home and watch the fourth quarter. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's the Saints. <laughs> Before we end the service today, would anyone like to make an announcement? I would. There's no greater bond than between married people, and the Bible says so. And anyone who doubts it is straight up afraid of what's really real. Mercy, top dog, the top one. Mercy, what's good with you, boy? I'm in King.